What's up guys? We are back with another Mythic Legions review, but we're doing something a little bit different, something a little bit special today with a look at the 2021 Legions Con exclusive figure. Uh, so we're taking a look at the, the first release, the exclusive version of the Sir Gerard figure. So, of course, this was uh, an exclusive sold specifically at Legions Con and then with a small amount on Legion Shop online. And this is named after uh, Jeremy Gerard, who works a lot with the Horsemen, is involved extensively with the community. Uh, so he got himself put into Mythic Legions and got to help, I believe, even design this figure in terms of the parts, color scheme, that kind of stuff. Uh, what is really cool about this guy, at least from the outset, is that he has unique packaging. So this is a figure that has legit exclusive packaging, which is not very common at all with Mythic Legions. And it's very reminiscent of the Equadron style boxes, but it's uh, more geared towards a normal figure rather than a big horse guy. So uh, we've got him here in an actual box, not the clamshell kind of packaging uh, that we see usually. So he's there in the window. A lot of familiar artwork in terms of the actual box design. We do have his uh, faction icon on one side, uh, the red star, and then we've got a bio on the other. And then the back of the box has got the Legion's Con uh, dates as well as our sort of mythos write-up. So I really like this. I like the idea uh, that it does keep this specifically exclusive. Uh, we are getting a non-exclusive version of this figure that doesn't come with this uh, skull head sculpt, but the skull has been announced to be uh, included in an upcoming heads pack. So if you don't get this version, you'll be able to get all the parts at least eventually down the road. So I do like the idea behind this where he's exclusive, but there's nothing here that ultimately is not something you can get except for maybe the box. So uh, let's do it. Let's pull him out and take a look. And here we go out of the package, our Legions Con exclusive Sir Gerard from Mythic Legions. And, you know, I wasn't at Legions Con, so I didn't get to have the experience uh, of actually buying this guy in person, but it made me want him no less. Uh, you know, PowerCon was the big trip of the year for me, and of course we had to go on vacation that week, so I couldn't have possibly been there. But thankfully I was able to secure one thanks to a very kind friend, and this is pretty much exactly what I expected it to be, which is to say it's a, it's a pretty solid figure for people like me who don't necessarily even really care about taking Legion's figures apart, like, I like him the way he is, but there's a lot of good stuff here for people who do want to take him apart and kit bash him together. Of course, when we get the non-exclusive version, you'll be able to like make your own Dark Templars with the red uh, cross, so you've kind of got a lot of potential with this guy while also sourcing him from just a tremendous amount of existing parts. So uh, let's see what he can do, see how he moves around, it's a 1.0 style Legion's figure, so you kind of know what to expect. We've got a head that can look up slightly, not too much, and he can look down a little bit. The This head with this configuration is kind of locked down a little bit. He does have another head sculpt, uh, which has a little bit more flexibility. You've got a little bit of tilt side to side, and then of course you've got uh, full rotation there. Arms out at the shoulder. We've got rotation at the shoulder, of course. You've got your single rotating elbow, so about 90 degrees, and then it rotates there. Uh, you've got your swiveling forearm also, since it can be taken apart. And then you've got your, your hinges, and you've got rotation at the wrist also, so normal stuff. We've got a 1.0 solid buck style torso, so he goes backwards, he goes forwards, tilt side to side, and then of course you can bobble him all the way around in there. Legs go out. You know, you can get them to do the skeletal splits, basically. Uh, they will go all the way out. You do have to watch this sort of girdle piece. Uh, it is going to want to stop you, but it will let you go all the way. Kick forward. Kick backward. You do have a thigh cut there. We've got our single jointed rotating knee. And then you've got rotation. You've got really good rocker. And then you've got some hinge action down here uh, at those ankles. So. I mean, a very normal figure. There's really nothing uh, nothing new, nothing different, nothing missing when it comes to this guy. So if you've messed around with one Mythic Legions 1.0 figure for the last however many years, you are going to know exactly what's going on with, with this guy right out of the box. Now, as far as aesthetics go, that's ultimately where my interest with this figure lie because of this particular uh, color combination to make, you know, kind of like a Dark Templar style look with this red cross on a black uh, tabard is, is definitely striking and very different. 
But the big thing for this particular version is, of course, this head sculpt, which is, of course, a skeleton. So, you know, I'm kind of on board to begin with, even though this is not a, a Necronominus faction character. He is a Son of the Red Star uh, faction character. But this is also a head sculpt that we don't really see a lot in the line. Uh, Scapular has it, Celtus has it. But this is, this is not a common head sculpt, and this is also the exclusive head sculpt for this figure. So this is how he comes in this box, but when you get him as a standard wave figure, he'll have the alternate head sculpt. So this is actually, uh, to play up his bio, this is him, because uh, he is a changeling type of character, uh, he is more in line with Scapular's uh, head sculpt here because he is changed to look like him. So it's not that this is necessarily what he looks like under his helmet even, so that's kind of a cool idea. Uh, I really do like the bio for this guy. Uh, it also aligns him with uh, Lord Veteris, which is of course uh, an homage tribute figure to the organizer for uh, New Jersey Toy Con, and that's where he was sold originally. So this figure and that figure make a, make a pair. And this is a really cool combination of parts. Again, like I said, I'm not someone who necessarily pops my legions of parts all the time and, and kit bashes them together. It, it's something that I like to do, but I don't really find a lot of time to do it. But out of the box, very happy with them. Uh, and then, of course, for folks who want to break this guy down, you're going to enjoy uh, this tunic, this tabard, and then even, you know, like the greaves down here with the slight red coloring, which is not all that common to see uh, on a legions figure. So you've got a very dark gunmetal gray color, which is pretty consistent throughout the entire figure from the arms on the the armor on the arms all the way through the legs. And it's a very standard knight style of body, so there's no you know parts here you aren't going to be familiar with. I do like this choice of the belt uh, girdle type of apparatus that he's got on with the the long thigh guards and everything. So all of that is individually painted as far as the belt, uh, the buckles, the straps, the rivets, all of that good stuff. The tabard, Again, really nice color combination because it stands out. It's a little bit different. Uh, it is something familiar, but of course not exactly the same. So you've got the black tabard with the red cross on it, which again uh, just stands out. And it ties him to this faction also in terms of the, the red star aspect of it. So, so I do really like the overall design. I like this usage of parts, the little hints of red on the like inlay design work on the shoulders on the thighs down here it's subtle but it, it does work it breaks him up a little bit and again as usual to be expected all the paint work all over this figure is incredibly well done very clean and crisp and absolutely no issues in terms of uh you know qc problems there and then of course you know again the head sculpt is, is for me is for me the, the draw for this figure in particular, not just because it's an exclusive head until that head pack that was recently announced comes out, but because I really do like this head sculpt. Uh, Scapular in particular is one of my favorite skeletons in the line, and he ha and this is his head sculpt. So uh, it's cool to get it in a different uh, in a different colorway. So of course we've got the darker gunmetal gray. You've got black for the uh, you know the kind of robes around the around the head there, which are red for Scapular, and then the skull in particular is even a little bit of a darker bone color than usual, with a tremendous amount of wash in there, and it just brings out all that grisly detail, especially around those super deep eye sockets. So it's a Legion's figure. The parts are incredibly well sculpted. The paint is immaculate as usual. It's just a new configuration with some new colorways on it and a head sculpt that I particularly really enjoy. So it was kind of a, a no-brainer. This was definitely one that I needed to get my hands on and it looks just as good as expected in person. Now, as far as accessories goes, while there's not a tremendous amount of stuff in here, it's all pretty impactful, and, and a lot of it's just really good stuff, too. Uh, so to start with, he does get his extra head sculpt, although, again, you know, just for clarification's sake, when you get a regular version of this guy, this is going to be the head that he comes with. Uh, he's not going to come. He's not going to come with this one, because this is exclusive as far as this set goes for right now. And this is, thankfully, one of my favorite head sculpts in the entire line. This is my favorite helmeted head sculpt by a mile, too. Uh, so we get this guy, and of course, you know, this is very, you know, reminiscent of Gorgo Aetherblade when it comes to the helmet itself, the, the fins, very much a Raygor kind of aesthetic for me. So, so there's a lot of good stuff here, and it works really nicely. Uh, in this color scheme. The fins are, of course, uh, separate pieces. They're packed individually in the box, too, and you can take them off if you don't want to have those on there. I pretty much always use them, but that color definitely works for this particular head sculpt. It's a really nice combination. Uh, and then we get 
the pauldrons. And if I remember correctly, these are the pauldrons that came with the Red Shield soldier. So these are newer style pieces up here, uh, and they're smaller. They're a little bit more streamlined, but they do work quite well on this guy. And they, they don't impede any articulation because they have a really low profile. And they also don't cover that tabard up very much either. So you really still get the full effect of that color palette. So I do like that. They are very basic, but they still work, especially in that gunmetal colorway. And then we get a few other things that are actual, you know, weapons, and then we always get an ever-present strap. This guy did not come with any back adapters, though, which is pretty normal for, like, early release kind of figures. They usually don't include them, but again, if you're like me, you have a thousand of them. So we do get a shield for this guy, so more just the standard kind of shields, but it's got the black colorway with the red cross on it. It's got a handle, you know, a newer style, not newer style handle, so it's not one of those old clips. And then we get Sir Gerard's uh, weapons, and he includes two, and they are the same. So he includes two uh, scimitar-style swords here that are done up with a really nice, really nice metallic silver blade with a gunmetal handle, and then you've got some silver uh, work for those little baubles and, and rivets down there. So he doesn't, again, he doesn't include a lot of stuff, but I really like what's in this box. I really like this style of sword. Really dig getting shields for figures, and he has, you know, one of, one of my favorite head sculpts in the line for his extra one here, on top of one of my favorite skeleton head sculpts for the uh, for the head that he comes with in the box. So a lot of good parts here, and just a really nice rounded out set of stuff. So overall, he's a good figure. What a shock, what a surprise, right? But really, I mean, this, this is a good Legion's figure. The only real downside is that he is a limited exclusive at the moment. So he might be a little harder to get uh, currently. But again, he will be made available later without that skeleton head sculpt. And that head sculpt is going to be made available later in a head pack. So eventually, you'll be able to build this guy just fine 100 times over. Beyond that, though, great parts, both old and new. Solid colorway. Two amazing head sculpts. Again, my, some of my personal favorites are included with this figure, and a solid array of accessories to really round out the overall package. So not much more you can ask for when it comes to a Legion's figure. So that's going to do it for this look at the Mythic Legion's Legion's Con exclusive Sir Gerard. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.